Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks weekly announcement slash update video. Now in this week's update, the devs are going to be detailing some of the plans for upcoming minor updates in the future. Now they're going to be talking about a few new features that we're going to be getting. Now these new features are going to be weapons DLC focused of course, seems like that has just been released and players are playing it a lot and asking for new features. So they are going to be adding, hopefully within the next couple of weeks slash months, some new small missile parts. So these, I would presume, would have uh, more focus on people wanting to create a one by one missile, similar to what we did a video on. Um, so I'm guessing we might get some new fins and some new parts for that to really just make it much more compact and work much better. Because at the moment they're kind of limited about what one, two kilometer range uh, with my ones. And so yeah, we can obviously get some more features with that. That'll be great. Uh, along with that, we're also going to be getting some modular barrels and muzzles. So that'll be a cool little addition to see um, how that how it's going to work. I think it's going to be more of a visual thing than anything, but uh, we'll have a little bit more detail about that in a few minutes. And then also we're going to be getting chaffs. Now, of course, with uh, there being missiles and especially the compact ones that I built, these ones are obviously really good, meaning that you now need something to stop missiles from hitting you. And that's the idea of the new chaps, which we'll speak about in a few minutes. So along with that, uh, they're also releasing a few quality updates today uh, with the current Stormux release. So that is going to include a few things. Now, there's only a few things here to talk about. One thing is they are capping flares uh, to a maximum of 32 in the game. So you can't obviously crash your game. Uh, weapons tags and a few other small things. But the main thing for me here is they have fixed something that's been in the game for a very long time and the issue that we've been complaining about probably about two years now and that is mirrored surface painting for wedges and slope blocks we've also always had the issue with all these brand new wedges that we had which are the new nice ones whenever you want to paint one side it wouldn't paint the other side they fixed that which is fantastic two years or almost two years one year two years it's been ages and they haven't fixed it and they just haven't fixed it. For me, that's a big thing. It's the amount of time you spend painting your creation only to find out that you have to go and do the completely other side because it hasn't painted it in mirrored mode. That's a big one for me. Um, they've changed a few things with radars once again. Hopefully nothing's broken. We'll have to wait and see. But besides that, uh, nothing else major in terms of fixes slash updates this week. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about the new features we're going to be getting in these small major updates or small minor updates in the future. So, as I said, uh, the small information or the small pieces we're going to be using for missiles, they said they're going to add some more things to help with tracking of targets. So I don't know how that's going to be improved because they've got the radar piece at the moment, but uh, I'm not going to complain. And also miniaturized fins that you can add on to the one by one solid rockets. So once again, I'm not too sure how they're going to do that because the smallest component is one by one by one. So we already have a one by one by one fin. I'm guessing they might have an idea in mind that they have like a pre-built one that you can maybe have a little input on, possibly, I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see how they're gonna do that. Uh, and then the next thing they're gonna be talking about is barrels and muzzles. So this apparently will be a cosmetic improvement to your gun uh, and how you want to obviously detail it and make it look a little better and design your weapons unique in comparison to other ones. Um, and with that, they might go and also do a reduction and recoil depending on the type of muzzle attachment you add onto your gun. Now, where we're talking about guns here, we're talking about the large guns, not the first person ones. These are your vehicle weapons, your auto cannons, your battle cannons, your bertha guns, things like that, where they might have um, some type of barrel or muzzle attachment or addition to it. We're interested to see what the devs come up here with. Um, I'm sure everyone's got a very varied approach to what should be added. So interesting to see what happens there. Uh, and the last thing they're talking about is, of course, the uh, chaff flares. So these are going to work very similar to the existing flares that we have in game. However, these ones will now emit a radar signature. However, they won't last that long. So this will be a great way to obviously distract any missiles that are coming towards you or any lock-ons or anything like that. You can then obviously just fire these off. You lose your obviously your targeting and so on so this will be a great thing especially if you're playing with you know friends and multiplayer or if you're playing with ai and so on this could be very very useful um and that's pretty much about it they also said they are going to be doing some more work for the base game not just the dlc because obviously that's the main focus at the moment but they are going to be doing some other things which is 
going to be great. Obviously, this is still a lot lacking from the career mode. So I'm really hoping they pay a little bit more attention to that and do a little bit more story in terms of missions and get some good, better content there. Uh, and then the last thing is, of course, we do have a Q&A video coming up very soon. I think that is scheduled very shortly. So hopefully maybe by next week we'll have that video out for you guys where we will have a uh, chat with the devs, ask them some of your guys' questions and just get their feedback, uh, which I think you guys usually enjoy. So guys, that's pretty much about it for this week's update slash announcement here in Stormworks. Let me know what you think in the video comments below. As always, if you have enjoyed these videos, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until the next one, we will see you then.